Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in! Squish! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. Ah. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> it's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. <laughs> and how about this one? It's green. So... Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's mm. lots of colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice <laughs> tastes scrum diddly umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm! <laughs> this is apple juice. Ah. Well, this tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice, and Peppa really loves her delicious <laughs> rainbow juice. Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we'd better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. <laughs> So, we are here, and we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then... Take the red train. Yes, well done, Peppa. Off we go. First, Peppa must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. 
Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. A super strike for a super bowler! Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too! I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead, like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! <laughs> Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Now you try, Pedro. OK, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> but Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler! Hooray! Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. 
<laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forwards, Susie! Forwards? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny! Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Pepper is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Pepper. Oh, much. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go! Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Peppa, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your teeth... <gasps> Who knows what we can do to look after them? Um, um, go to the dentist? That's right! Who has been to the dentist before? Me! 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 me, 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 me. me. Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea! <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr. Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs. Peppa? For this big light. Please open wide, like this. Ah! Uh, so I can see your teeth. Ah! Uh. Peppa is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr. Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you! <laughs> Hooray! Well done, Peppa and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um... Our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> <laughs> then we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. 
Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the shine. Tops and bottoms. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. Oh, Peppa hey. likes pretending to be a dentist, and Peppa really likes. Today, Peppa's playgroup is having a very special lesson. Today, we are learning about the 4th of July, American Independence Day. What's Independence Day? Independence Day is a day when Americans celebrate all the things they love about their country. And we have a very special visitor. Happy Independence Day, everyone! Oh, <laughs> Mr. Bull has just been on holiday in America and has agreed to share some of the things he loved there with us. Let's start with an American party called a cookout. We can cook together using my new barbecue. I'll be the Grill Master. Ooh. Mr. Bull's barbecue is very big. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bull. But we will have our barbecue later and outside. Righto. First, we are going to dress up. Peppa and her friends are dressing up in the colors of the American flag. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> the grill master and his barbecue are fired up and ready to go. Is it time yet? No, Mr. Bull. We must decorate first. Oh, of course. Back to the grill I go. Way. Next, everyone is hanging red, white, and blue decorations. <laughs> now, Peppa and her friends are making an American flag. Stars does an American flag have? Um, lots and lots. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's lots and lots of stars, children. The American flag has 50 stars, one for every state, you know. Now, is it time for the barbecue yet? Hmm. Yes, it's time. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Bull is very excited to use his barbecue. Hope y'all ready for some authentic American barbecue. Oh, oh, oh. But the barbecue has burned all the food. Mm. What can we eat now? Don't you worry, I'm not just a grill master. I'm also a delicious all-American apple pie master. Mmm, I love apple pie. It's the most American food there is, especially with fireworks! Yeah! Everyone loves fireworks and apple pie, especially on Independence Day. <laughs> Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh dear. The car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry. I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr. Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Pepper like being towed. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh dear. I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh, good. But. We'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh. oh, dear. How long will it take? It will take as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. 
<laughs> Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. But motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this mm. bus? <laughs> ah. Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. Ah. It's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Pepper's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. It is dinner time, but dinner has been burned. Oh dear. Do you think we can still eat it? <laughs> I think we should treat ourselves to a takeaway. Hooray! We choose what kind of food we like, and it gets delivered to our house. There's Chinese takeaway, Indian takeaway, or sushi. Can we have this one, please? Peppa wants to order Chinese takeaway. Let's have this and this. And don't forget the special surprise. Ah. Peppa and her family have ordered lots of delicious food. <laughs> What happens now? Well, first the restaurant has to cook the food, and then they'll deliver it. Oh, but how do they know where we live? I gave them our address when we ordered the takeaway. But how will it get here? Miss Rabbit will bring it on her bike. Oh, look, she's nearly here. Let's go and find her. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Pepper and George have gone mm. to the wrong door. Oh! oh. It's here! It's here. <laughs> Here's your takeaway, Pepper. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Got to dash. Lots of food to deliver. <laughs> Rice, noodles, vegetable rolls. And a special Ooh. surprise for afterwards. Yay. Pepper and George don't know what the special <laughs> surprise is. Mmm, I love rice. Mmm. Mm. And I love my spicy noodles. They're my favourite. Ooh, they might be my favourite too. Can I try some? Yes, but just try a tiny bit. Mmm, I love noodles. Oh, but they are a bit spicy. Spicy noodles ow, ow, ow. are not Pepper's favorite. <laughs> Here, try a vegetable spring roll. Mmm, <laughs> vegetable spring rolls are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have finished their Chinese takeaway. Are you ready for the special surprise? Hooray! <laughs> These are called fortune cookies. They have a special message inside that brings you good luck. Ooh. This good luck tastes amazing. Pepper loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Everyone loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Today, 
Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 I am! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie! Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny! <laughs> Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Pepper is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Pepper. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go karts. <laughs> there we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police, we'll help you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Bye. Nino! Oh, my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well... We'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. 
You've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! But they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning. Then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Phew! Wow! wow. Oh, oh, goodness. Goodness. What's, Ooh, this? what's this? Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many <gasps> fun arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh. But where are the brushes? <sniffs> They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup <laughs> are enjoying making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> oh. And Danny, that's a marvellous puddle. Whoop. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Whoop. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face <gasps> painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. <laughs> Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddie and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Pepper is green. I'm green. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madame Gazelle has brought over a big oh. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madame Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like <laughs> onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun. Try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A, a star! star! Peppa Hooray! loves... It. Are volcanoes real, Madame Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except... The little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh! We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First you dip the paper in the glue, and then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila! A volcano! Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> and soon they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children. 
now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make ours red, Peppa. Ours can be blue. blue. Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. <laughs> but Peppa and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. Now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. Phew! <laughs> First, we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, mm. Perfect. And now, I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back. Madame Gazelle's volcano is erupting, just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red. Ours is blue. Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. Lava. No, Candy. You made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes, but everyone really loves making... <laughs> Stop! Today, Peppa and her family <gasps> are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. And another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> and another. <gasps> <laughs> oh. <gasps> <laughs> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Ooh. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Uh, um. Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck. Lead the way, duck. This is a duck. Trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're, We're going, going to, to the duck, duck pond, pond, big wiggle whack. We're, We're going, going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time! I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. 
and much less slippery. Pepper and her family are flying in an aeroplane. Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> But not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? Oh. I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes oh. high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Instead, Miss Rabbit. Certainly. Oh. <laughs> oh, too low. Far too low. Hmm. Let's do a loop de loop. <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. Ooh. And that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. <laughs> and so Pepper, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work! <gasps> the attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. <gasps> hmm, something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat! eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <coughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> Ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. 
can fit through anything. Uh, uh, Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For you. Uh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Hooray! Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes, use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, it didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Peppa is taking a big runner. But the sand is very slippery. <laughs> I didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> well Good done, show. George. I'll <laughs> just have to keep trying. <laughs> Pepper is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. <laughs> Whoa! My ice cream. Aha. Uh -huh. uh. But oh. nothing seems to be working. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh. At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. No. <laughs> Oh, dear. My turn, Peppa. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah. Granny's puck has pushed Peppa's puck into the triangle. I got three points. Hooray! Peppa <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing. But there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles. <laughs> Who's ready for an adventure to the seaside? Hooray! Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Oh dear, I think I forgot to put petrol in the car. Never mind. Let's take the train to the beach. Hooray! Peppa and her family are catching a train to the seaside. Tickets, please. We're going to the seaside. And Mummy didn't put petrol in the car. 
How exciting! <laughs> I love the seaside. I think it's time for some lunch. Pepper, <laughs> let's look for the dining carriage. Whoa. Daddy Pig and Pepper are walking through the train to the dining carriage. It is very wobbly. Oh, this carriage must be for passengers who want to sleep. <laughs> Whoa! This carriage must be for people who want to play on the train. Wow! Hi, Danny! Hi, Gerald! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> uh -oh. ah. This must be the cinema carriage. Excuse, Excuse me. me! Peppa and Daddy Pig have found the dining carriage. Ah. This carriage must be for people who want lunch. Is that your tummy rumbling, Daddy? I'm afraid the train has broken down. Oh dear, we'll have to take the bus. Now, Peppa's family are waiting to catch the bus uh, to the seaside. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah. All aboard! <laughs> Next up, the seaside! Hooray! <laughs> The bus has broken huh. down. I think somebody forgot petrol again. <laughs> now how will we get to the seaside? Well, we can walk. The seaside is just down the hill. This was the best trip to the seaside ever. I can't wait to see how we get back home. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> No splashing, Mr. Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Pepper. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's okay, Mr. Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly, Mr. Bull. No running. Sorry again. Mr. Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is, everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh! Ooh. Have a splendid time, Mr Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Right you are, Peppa! Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! Well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set. And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Peppa. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> oh. Finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's a draw! Every 
everybody wins! Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Uh, uh -huh. <coughs> no, no splashing! splashing. Today, Peppa has found a video of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh, <laughs> very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Mm. Yum. Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa mm. thinks cravings are delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. <laughs> what else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Peppa. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <gasps> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> oh, 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 a little here and a little... Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like Spot? foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <gasps> <gasps> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is dropping Peppa off at Playgroup. But Mummy Pig is also looking after baby Alexander. Oh, my. Mind if I clean up Alexander's smelly nappy before I go, Madam Gazelle? I insist. Oh, can we help clean him up? Please? <laughs> OK. Can you pass me the nappy cream from the changing bag and a fresh nappy? <laughs> Everyone likes helping Mummy Pig change baby Alexander's nappy. There. Fresh as a daisy. Can baby Alexander play with us? Please! Well, I don't see why not. Hooray! Peppa is showing baby Alexander all her favourite bits of the playgroup. These are the books. <laughs> baby Alexander likes all the books. This is the whole world. <laughs> and he enjoys spinning the globe. <laughs> and this is Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, little Alexander. Oh! But he likes Madame Gazelle most of all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perhaps it is time for some painting. <laughs> 
everyone is painting pictures of themselves mm. called ah. self-portraits. I'm Peppa Paint. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. I'm Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Susie. <laughs> and I'm Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> well done, baby Alexander. It looks like a tasty apple. Baby <gasps> Alexander's painting has reminded <laughs> Pepper that it's time for lunch. It's baby Alexander's mm. lunchtime too. He's eating special food for babies. Here comes the train, Alexander. <laughs> choo choo! Is baby Alexander's food nice, Mummy? He thinks so. Oh. oh my. Mind if I clean Alexander up again before we head off? I insist. I'll get the bag. Oh, let's go. Oh. Everyone loves having baby Alexander at playgroup. Hooray! Hello, I'm King Pepper. It's another day at playgroup, and everyone is pretending Pepper is the king. King, and I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. Hooray! <laughs> king Pepper is enjoying being king of the playgroup. She really likes all the yummy food. I've brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs. King. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Peppa? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. Oh. Now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to hop. Mm. Why, Mr. Highness? Because hopping is fun. King Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop, hop. <laughs> King Pedro, you said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop, <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Would you like to be the king now, Candy? <gasps> Meow. Yes, please. Hop, hop. <laughs> now Candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Now, everyone has to be loud. Now, quiet. <laughs> now, loud. Everyone is enjoying King Candy and King Danny's rules very much. Now George is the king. Hmm. sure. Hooray! King George says that everyone should dinosaur. Everyone loves being king of the playgroup, but everyone loves being dinosaurs even more. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> oh. Squeak! Big bugs! This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't worry, it's not a real ant. It's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots. Ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen.
Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Peppa's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Pepper. <laughs> Whee! Yes! Hooray! Well done, everyone. You worked as a team just like ants. Ah. This room is all about bees. It even has bee <laughs> costumes for dressing up. You look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? Bzz, bzz. Well, go. Bzz, bzz. Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. <laughs> bees follow the sun to find their way. Bzz. We can follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. <laughs> Beautiful work, everyone! <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. Squeak! It's so pretty! But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack! It has big wings. Or a dragon. Rawr! And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. Whoa. It's a... <gasps> Butterfly! Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the big... Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. <laughs> Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> dinosaur! George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> I think I will have, hmm, that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. It's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, let's buy that too. It's stuck again. Again. <laughs> the drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! Yay! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. 
Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. <gasps> oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Peppa and George are making a special dinner Whoops. for Mummy and Daddy Pig. Grandpa Pig is helping. My goodness! We're making special Valentine's Day pizzas, Granny Pig. Because Valentine's Day is all about showing others that you love them. I know! We can make the pizzas heart-shaped. <laughs> now, we toss the dough up into the air, just like they do in Roma. That's a place in Italy, you know. <laughs> Aha! Hmm. Whoops! <laughs> just like in Roma. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. We can cover the lumpy bits with some vegetables <gasps> from the garden. Oh. Mummy and Daddy Pig are not sure what's going on. Peppa and George are collecting vegetables. The pizzas are going to have lots of toppings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the vegetables inside. Peppa and George add <laughs> vegetables to their pizza. I know how to make the pizzas even more special. We can add Mummy and Daddy Pig's favourite foods. Good idea, Peppa. What are their favourite foods? <laughs> Spaghetti and chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We should make the pizzas look like Mummy and Daddy. Peppa and George make faces with the pizza toppings. <laughs> now they're really special. Oh, George! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Here are your extra special Valentine's Day pizzas. <sighs> Chocolate cake? My favourite! <laughs> dinosaur! A spaghetti dinosaur! Thank you, Pepper and George. <laughs> they look too good to eat. Mummy and Daddy Pig think their Valentine pizzas are very special indeed. Ah, almost got you. Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata <laughs> and get the treats inside. Because today, Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra uh -huh. happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Pom-pom! Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! I will help you. Uh, <laughs> mm, this is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom <laughs> looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole. Mooly? Guacamole! Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados. And you eat it with carrots or cucumber <gasps> or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole! <laughs> guacamole! 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 guacamole. <laughs> 
Madame Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh, mmm, guacamole! Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Pepper has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. Pepper is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really enjoying. Today is sports day at Pepper's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win. Uh, uh, whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Yay! Hooray! Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Slower, Peppa! Don't drop the egg! OK. <laughs> Slow down, Danny! But don't go too slow! Slower! Faster! Slower! No faster! Phew! Squeak! <laughs> no! Phew! <gasps> <laughs> we did it! We won the race! It's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. But if I miss, we'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <laughs> We had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the Blue Team did really well too. So they get silver medals. Wow! The Pink Team and the Blue Team love Sports Day. Everyone loves Pepper and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police, we'll help yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino, Bye. Nino. Oh my! 
What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and Police Officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special <laughs> pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you oh. seen the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. Did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning. Then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it. <laughs> we solved the mystery. <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good... Boing! 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 Emily Elephant is bouncing on a space hopper. Why are you bouncing in the sandpit, Emily? It's my New Year's resolution! What is that? It's a challenge you have to do for the whole year. Mine's bouncing! Boing! Boing! I want a New Year resolution too. Peppa and her friends are going to make their own New Year's resolutions. I'm going to score a gazillion goals. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. I'm going to talk in gobbledygook. Bingly bangly bibbly bobbly wibbly wobbly. <laughs> Going to be a tiger. Roar! 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 Hmm. I think my New Year's resolution will be to jump in muddy puddles. I just have to find some first. <coughs> Six! Uh, one! Nine! Uh, four! Danny Dog is muddling his numbers. And getting very tired. Boing, 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 roar! <gasps> Candy Cat's roars have given Emily Elephant a fright. Emily Elephant has lost her space hopper. Where are you, Muddy Puddles? Peppa can't find any Muddy Puddles. Um, oh, hmm. Can you see any Muddy Puddles, Susie? No, I can't. Um, I mean, muddily, muddily, puddily, puddily. Rawr! Everyone is Rawr! finding their Rawr! New Year's resolutions Bear. quite hard. <laughs> what are you all doing? Uh, we're doing our New Year's reservations. Uh, 11 to 12. Mine is jumping in muddy puddles. But I can't find any. 
ho, ho, ho. New Year's resolutions aren't about doing these sorts of challenges. Aren't they? No, they're about choosing nice things to do in the next year. Things like helping with the washing up. Or tidying your room. <laughs> oh. Phew, that sounds much easier than scoring a gazillion goals. Speak for yourself. One hundred and one. <laughs> 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 Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper, and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hold on tight, George. <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea. Whee! Hooray! We did it. Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa! room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh, I've got it! But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. <laughs> Edmund? <Whee>! And Edmund <laughs> Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Snap! Oh! Peppa is playing games with her friends. I love playing Snap. I keep winning. I don't like Snap. Peppa would quite like to win a game. Play snakes and ladders instead. Woohoo! Snakes and ladders! But I was winning! <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to win! Two places! Now I get to go up a ladder. I'm right near the finish line. Now it's your turn, Rebecca. <gasps> oh dear, Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake. I know. Let's play Marble Run. I love Marble Run. Marble Run! But I was going to win. <laughs> Yay! 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 My P 
pink marble is winning. I know. Let's play Pack the Parrot. Ooh. I love Pack the Parrot. But my marble is winning. It's going to pop up. I can't look. I know. Let's play Snap again. <laughs> Snap! Snakes and ladders. Peppa and her friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning. be time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at the cinema. They've just watched a film called Vegetables in Space 2. Oh, don't worry, Pedro. I'll save you. Everyone enjoyed the film so much, they're pretending they are in it. Everyone is very excited to get dressed up for the game. Pedro Pony is an astronaut. Susie Sheep is a robot. Gerald Giraffe is an alien. And Peppa is a space hero. Let's go outside and pretend we're on the moon. Hooray! Follow me! Pew, pew! Peppa and her friends are imagining they're on the moon. Just like in the film. Everyone has lots of fun pretending to float on the moon. Woohoo! Oh, good idea, Gerald. We can use the rocket cars to drive around. <laughs> oh dear, there aren't enough rocket cars for everyone. Susie. Buzz, buzz. Susie is pretending her boots are rocket boots. Now everyone has a fun way to explore the moon. The moon? Beep! The only thing on the moon is the moon! Beep! Papa! The moon is made of cheese, so maybe we can find some for lunch. Of course! <laughs> what was that? Was it a moon monster? No, Peppa. I am <gasps> your daddy. And I've brought you all some cheese sandwiches for lunch. Everyone loves pretending to play on the moon, but everyone loves lunchtime even more. Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas, but Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> No, 
you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Baby Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Today, Peppa's playgroup are on a trip to the lake. They are going to row boats. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, everyone! <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. Are you ready to row boats today? <gasps> oh, yes. The rowing boats are just over there. Let's go. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing life jackets and helmets to keep them safe on the boats. <laughs> you all look ready to get going. Pepper, Susie and Pedro, you'll be in the red rowing boat with me and Grumpy Rabbit. Bye. And Mandy, Emily and Danny will be in the blue rowing boat with me and Captain Dog. Quick! To row the boat, you have to put this special stick called an oar in the water and pull like this. Heave ho! Now you try. Everyone is very excited to row the boats themselves. But no one is working together. Why isn't the boat moving, Miss Captain Rabbit? Everyone needs to row together all at once, like this. When I say heave, we push. And when I say ho, we pull. <laughs> Let's all try together. Heave, ho. Well done. Hooray! The boat is moving along the water. Everyone is working together as a team. Everyone is having lots of fun rowing their boats, but it is almost time to go home. Time to row back to shore now, children. Your parents have come to collect you. Squeak, can we race to the shore? A wonderful idea, Mandy. Is everyone ready? Ready! On your mark. Everyone is 
rowing as fast as they can back to the shore. Peppa is helping her friends row as a team. Weave on. <laughs> Weave glow. Um, believe go. Almost there. It's neck and neck. It's a draw. Well done, children. Everyone loves rowing boats and everyone loves working as a team. Peppa and her family are watching a film at the cinema. Mummy, hmm. I need to go to the toilet. OK, Peppa, we'll go to the one just outside. We're just going to the toilet. The toilet? Good idea. Shh. <laughs> Oops. Oh dear, the toilet is closed for cleaning. But I really need to go. There's a public toilet just down the road. Follow me, everyone. Change sure. Peppa and her family have found a oh. toilet. Here's the toilet, Peppa. Let's join the queue. I'm afraid the queue starts over there. <gasps> but the queue for the toilet is very, very long. <laughs> I'm not sure I can wait that long. Hmm. There's a toilet in the supermarket. Let's try there. Peppa, Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George look everywhere for a toilet. They try the supermarket. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh! They try the zoo. Ah. Sorry, Peppa! This toilet needs fixing! Oh! They even try a toilet shop. I'm sorry, but these toilets are for display purposes only. There are no toilets anywhere. <laughs> oh dear, now I need the toilet too. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the cinema toilet is open again. Hooray! <laughs> For you. Finally, Peppa and her family are back to watch the film. <gasps> but now the film has ended. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to watch it from the start. Does anyone need the toilet first? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Easter, children! Ooh, ooh, oops! Ooh. <laughs> Happy Easter! Peppa and her friends are doing lots of Easter activities today. Today, I have a very special visitor for you. Miss Rabbit! Hello, children. The Easter Bunny sent me to play some Easter games with you. <gasps> Hooray! But first, we need to make you all honorary Easter Bunnies. <laughs> oh, I see you're already an honorary Easter Bunny. <laughs> Now, who'd like to decorate some Easter eggs? Hooray! Peppa and her friends are painting wooden eggs. Remember, children, you can decorate your Easter egg however you like. <laughs> Hello, Mr Egg. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh dear, it looks like Danny Dog was given a real egg by mistake. Danny, what happened to your egg? I think I painted it a bit 
too hard. <laughs> Good job I brought a spare. All right, bunnies, follow me. Hop, 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 hop. Peppa and her friends have come outside to play a special Easter game. Now we're going to play bunny bowling. Roll your eggs along the ground and see how many bunny pins you can knock down. Oh. Uh. Good try, Mr Egg. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> A bit too high. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like you all win! Yay! 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 Well done, everybody. You've all earned a special Easter <gasps> medal! Hooray! And best of all, these medals are made of chocolate! Mmm! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 Is there a prize for eating the most chocolate too? Peppa and her friends love Easter very much indeed. Today is sports day at Peppa's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! Oh, uh, uh, whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Faster. Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Peppa, don't drop the egg. OK. <laughs> Slow down, Danny. But don't go too slow. Slower. Faster. Slower. No, faster. <laughs> <laughs> no! Phew! <laughs> we did it! We won the race! It's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. <laughs> Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. But if I miss... We'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <coughs> yeah. Yay! We lost. Squeak. But we had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the Blue Team did really well, too. So they get silver medals. Whoa! Yay! Hooray! 
the pink team and the blue team love sports day. Everyone loves sports day. It's time to get ready for playgroup, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, hello, Santa. Back already? Today is Peppa's first day back at playgroup after the Christmas holidays. No, Mummy, it's me. But Peppa <laughs> is not ready for Christmas to be over. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's a wonderful outfit, but I don't think it's right for playgroup. But I like dressing up as Santa, so I don't want Christmas to be over. It's so much fun. I know, but playgroup can be lots of fun too. You'd better go and pack your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Pepper. That's a very full backpack you've got there. <coughs> and quite heavy, too. <sighs> Phew, what have you got in there? Just some tinsel to make the playgroup sparkly. I see. A toy I got from Santa. Oh, my. Some candy cane. Delicious. <laughs> Oh, and some Brussels sprouts. Hmm, maybe you should take some things that are a bit more useful for playgroup. Like what? Maybe some crayons for colouring in, some yummy fruit, and a book to read. Oh, Santa brought me that book. That's a good idea. <laughs> Time to go, Peppa. <laughs> Oh, can we ride the sled to playgroup? I love going fast. Whee! <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. There isn't any snow. Even the snowman is almost gone. I think we'll have to take the car today, Peppa. Oh, OK. I know you're sad Christmas is over, but I promise Playgroup can be just as fun. Everyone at Playgroup is very happy to see Peppa this morning. Welcome back, Peppa. Did you have a fun Christmas break? I... <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Do you want to play dress-up with me? Oh, yes. I love dressing up. <laughs> or we could read a book. I got a new book from Santa. <gasps> Let's race each other on our scooters. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> Playgroup is just as fun as Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa really loves Christmas, but she also... <sighs> Peppa is arriving at Playgroup. <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. Bonjour, Peppa. You are just in time for a very special game. Madame Gazelle has divided the room into four colours. Red, blue, green and yellow. You can join the green team, Peppa. Here is your bib. Et voila! <laughs> now, in this game, I will give you a category. What's a cat? Tori? Squeak? A category is a group of things. I will say a category, and you have to find something that matches your color. <gasps> so, if I say food... That means we have to find food. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just an example, but... Okay, let's begin. Everyone is very excited to play the game. Bananas! These are very yellow. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Tomatoes are red. Susie Sheep's blue food is a blueberry. <laughs> Nothing is bluer than a blueberry. This leaf is green. Unfortunately, Peppa, it is not food. You cannot eat that leaf. But a caterpillar can. <laughs> well done! Yay! Now, I think the next category is toys. 
But let me check my list. Which I have lost. Hmm. Everyone at Playgroup loves finding <laughs> toys. <laughs> That was too easy. <coughs> I've got another category. What is it? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Madam Gazelle is taking a long time to find her list. <laughs> Found it. Now, let's carry on with... Oh, my. We finished the game, Madam Gazelle. We found everything in the whole room. <laughs> well, in that case, let us play a new game. Putting everything away again. <gasps> <laughs> Peppa is having lots of fun playing in the snow with her friends. <laughs> But every game they play seems to cover them in cold snow. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Pepper, you're covered in snow. I think it's time to come inside and warm up, or you'll turn into a snow monster. <laughs> snow monsters don't exist, Daddy. Can we play for five ah. more minutes? Please? Oh, all right then. Five more mi... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Peppa and her friends play lots of games in the snow. They aren't worried about turning into snow monsters at all. Let's play snowballs. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me, Peppa! <laughs> hmm? <laughs> what was that noise? It sounded like... Has anybody seen my glasses? A, A snow, snow monster! monster. <laughs> Quick! Here. Phew! The snow monster won't find us here. <gasps> ah! The snow monster has found them. Papa, it's me! <laughs> oh, that's not a snow monster. <laughs> it's Daddy Pig! <laughs> I told you there was no such thing as snow monsters. Come on, Daddy. We'll make you warm again and melt all this snow. And look for my glasses on the way. Oh. Your glasses! Hooray! Thank you, Susie. Daddy Pig is very glad to be back home oh. in the world. He's not a snow monster anymore. <laughs> Everyone is warming up inside with hot chocolate. Ah. Oh, even snow monsters like hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another apple. Oh. By the power of vegetables, I am here. One moment. Now, I am here! Wow! Whoa! It is I, the superest superhero ever! And I've come here to teach you all how to be superheroes too! Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are all dressed as superheroes. Your first lesson of superhero school is to use your superhero powers to do something kind for the world. 
<laughs> Susie is being kind to the worm by helping to dig its hole. Freddy is being kind to the plant by watering it. And Pepper is being kind to the whole world by making sure all the rubbish is recycled and not on the floor. You all did so well in your first lesson. The next lesson in superhero school is to finish this obstacle course and save Madame Gazelle from the supervillains. On your marks, get set, go! But everyone is too tired to run. We're all puffed out. Why can't we run fast and be super strong? Aren't we superheroes? Hmm. I've got it. Has anyone had any fruits or vegetables today? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to eat my carrots today. And I left my apple in my lunchbox. Aha! Fruits and vegetables help us stay healthy and give us super energy. Superheroes ah. must have lots of energy to run and jump. Madame Gazelle has set up a table with plates of delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. Peppa and her friends have eaten their fruits and vegetables. Now they have lots of super energy and are ready to try again. We're here to save you! My heroes! My super heroes! Congratulations! You have all been super today! And every superhero gets a hero's reward. What would you like? Are there any more carrots? By the power of fruits and vegetables, Peppa and her playgroup have saved the day.